So how did you enjoy the experience of coming to our house on Memorial Day? <laughs> Besides all the trouble getting you in and out of the house. Yeah, that's what mom was saying. You had trouble getting into the Jerome's house because you... Well, the preacher and him carried me down the steps when I come out. Yeah. Well, you got to do what you got to do. Just stay home like this. No, you don't have to do that. They helped you, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, everybody tries to help me, but they just... Well, the preacher and the Jerome's helped you get in. Mom said it was good food. Well, now over Jerome's, now they didn't have everything like they did at uh, uh, Jonathan's. Yeah. At Jonathan's, like, they had my lands. They had two or three tents set up out in the backyard, and they had everything. Yeah. Well, that's their first kid to graduate from high school. Isn't it, Jonathan, the oldest one? So it was a lot, a lot fancier at Jonathan's, huh? Well, I don't know if you'd say fancy, or they just had a lot more. They had more stuff to set aside for it. I think people go to extremes anymore, a lot of them. I mean, they had everything from... Well, they don't graduate They had meals. They had a meal stuff. They had sandwiches. Yeah. They had, you know, well, it doesn't happen. It's their first kid, and they want to... They didn't graduate from high school every day. And Jeff was home from Louisville, and I hadn't got to see him since he left, I don't think. Yeah. He's the cutest thing. I mean, I say cute, he's a man, but I mean. What? He has got the dimples that go clear into his. Who are you talking about? Mike's brother, Jeff. Oh, I thought you were talking about Jeff Hokey. I'm like, what are you talking about? He lives in, in Louisville. Isn't he a preacher or something? Yeah, he's a preacher, a teacher, and... At a Bible college or something? And, uh, he does uh, a lot of different things. I mean, he's really... So you had a good time once you got in and out? Yeah, I guess you'd say so.